Hello, boys and girls. It's me again, Silken Morals. This time, I've uh, decided to do a little cube draft. The vintage cube is currently online. It had some issues with the duplicate cards in it, but that should be fixed by now. So I thought I wanted to make a little fun times with a cube video. All right, so the cube actually fired right away. And if you've never played cube, it's very powerful. All the cards, like you can see, are rare or mythic, really. Oh, well, that's not true. There are a lot of other good cards. So what we want to do here, <laughs> to begin with, is to start off deciding what we want to do. Do we want to play like Planeswalker deck? Just digging through our deck deck? Maybe a tutor deck. There's also a lot of value to the, the many powerful lands. I don't think we want to start off with divining top. We could start with dig through time. I can see a Garrick being awesome too. I do like the green. We don't have any other green here. But we could definitely just start off with a land here. I believe we're gonna take dig through time though. It's a reason it's banned from so many things. Let's start off with dig. See where where we get with that. It's not really an eight drop. <laughs> you should know that. All right, so here's a new card. There's a smuggler's copter in here. This is also a very very much a powerhouse. Especially if you can get your hands on some artifact mana. Now, I've never really successfully pulled off an upheaval myself. Maybe it's time to try it. We could definitely take it here. There's Nahiri here. Monastery Mentor. So, I think we can try upheaval. Just for the fun of it. I guess I'd take the Copter or Nahiri. Like the Copter has some synergy with Dig through, the, through Time, I guess. Because you can fuel the Delve with the discards. And it's like we all know from Standard, it's very powerful. So, but let's have fun with this. Let's go with Upheaval. And one thing we should note here is that the artifact mana is going to be very valuable to us if we're going to pull off the upheaval. Like when I draft cube I usually actually try and make some kind of some kind of reanimator it's not uncommon. I've also tried the red decks I think we just want the signet here. We're still pretty open. We could also take this, I guess. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Skin Render is good. Primus is awesome. Yeah, but let's just try and get some some mana here. Does that mean we want Chromox? Yeah, we probably do. You can play it for free. Heartbeat of Spring. Could be something to double the mana. Just for our turn and then replay, not replay it, <laughs> just discard it. Would be so much fun to do a villainous wealth deck too. I'm gonna take the Chromox here though. We also need some way to win, I guess. Oh, there's a there's a time twister here. That is one of the power nine. Uh, the worst one, I should say. <laughs> her hand and draw seven cards. It's not bad. 
it's just not as good as Time Walk, Ancestral Recall, and the others. Or if we want Chase, take a Misty here. We're gonna go with Jace. Yeah, sure, Time Twister's fine. Wouldn't mind actually playing that too. <laughs> oh my. We're gonna have so much fun here. Force Bike's a little bit of fun too. Beginning of each player's upkeep that or destroy target non artifact creature. The Abyss. This is for reanimate. Let's take search for tomorrow. Ah, yeah, let's take search. Oh, Nyctos. Yeah, I guess Nyctos could be a way to generate mana. What's this do? Burning of Zinye, destroy four lands you control, then target opponent, destroys four lands he or she controls, then it deals four damage to each creature. Right. Let's try the Nyctos. Not sure where we are with this deck. <laughs> To be honest, just yet. Oh, this is fun. Shriek Maw, something we could do. That I like. Fire and Ice. pretty good. I'll take the Gear Hulk, I guess. Maybe we can generate some mana by by having some green cards in play? I don't know. There's another way to ramp. Yeah, talk about all over. <laughs> Definitely all over this draft. Oh, it's that one. All right. Oblivion Ring is a good way to deal with the threat. Take some big green beaters. Well, this is the green removal. Let's take the wall of roots, though. And then. Hmm. Probably take the Pride Mage. Okay. This could fix your mana. Hidden is very strong though. Take the land tax. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> oh wow, another wall. I like both of those, so that's good. Okay. What do we have here? Anything that's looking like upheaval? Not really. Just big green monsters. There's a pack rat. Visions. What's this guy do? Thought Adele, Inquisitor. When it deals combat damage to a player, search that player's library for an artifact card and exile it. 
Then that player shuffles his or her library. You may play that card. That should be pretty good in a power cube, right? I think so. We'll try it. Not really there yet. All right. Original Emrakul. Rashad and Port. Memory Jar. There's a Sword of Feast and Famine. Seasons Past. Oof. Fun one. Are we blue-green? <laughs> it looks like we're blue-green. So this is some storm shenanigans, right? I'm not sure how to use this. I'll just draw seven. If we want the sword. For now. Oh, this is a good one. Mana drain. I guess we'll take that. There's also dimmer signet, I guess. I think we just want mana drain though. It's only colorless mana. Makes it a little less good. Yeah, we should probably take the signet. Let's cut the abyss. I don't think we're playing that. What else is there here? There's a Baneslayer Angel. I guess Thrag Tusk is good. Regrowths. Uh, not really for this deck. Imperial Recruiter. And then Makeshift Mannequin. This guy. Swings of the Steel Wind. There are so many reanimate targets here. Let's try and go for some big mana. This is also mana, I guess. This is certainly good for Nykthos. The Primal Hunter. Dawn Wells. Let's try Garuk, I guess. Oh my, this is one I never saw before. Derette the Scrap Servant. Discard and draw? Not the bad. War and Peace, is that the worst one? <laughs> Why am I asking you guys? You can't answer me that. All right, I think we're taking another Signet here. Tarmar Goyfs is good and all, but it's not really what I want to be doing. Mistress Workshop. Three mana, just to play Artifact Spells. Okay, we can take another Planeswalker here. Primal Command. I guess it's a little less good now, since it's a sorcery. I think a Cryptic Command, which is awesome. I guess we can take the Workshop, just only produces mana for artifacts to cost them. I think. Is that what we want to be doing? I don't think. I took the the Rel Cyric here. Traverse. Search for a basic land card. Hmm, turn it out is also something. Tap your lands. Cost upheaval. <laughs> or living the dream. Doesn't, does this guy make anything happen? 
I'll take the relentless one. Run a few planeswalkers. Okay. Okay, okay, what are we doing? Take Savannah. Now there's a, a Polucronos here. We're pretty green. Probably not playing Rel Sarek. Could play the Polucronos. The old Polucronos upheaval deck. And then we get Harmonized back and also Seasons Past. Hmm. Well, this looks like a lot of fun for sure. Take the season's best, <laughs> whatever. Thrag disc. It looks like we're like some kind of green beat down though. We don't really have any removal. To drop right, <laughs> the workshop came back. A couple tents, blue green. These are all lands, I guess. <laughs> well, oh, one more pack. All right, we got there. We got a mox here. Awesome. Well, not much to consider here. Treachery is also very good. It's like a free spell when it enters the battlefield, untap up to five lands. I think we want the Mox Sapphire though. Elvish Mystic would be good. Another Signet. Scavenging Ooze is fine. Go for the Throat could be splashed. Swords could definitely be splashed. Not passing the mocks though. The Yavimaya Elder. When it dies, you may search your library for up to two basic land cards, reveal them, put it in your hand. It's also Eternal Witness, Force of Will, or Edric. fixing. Currently don't have any splash really. I guess I'll take Edric here. I mean Force of Will is good and all. But not that. But not that blue really. Is Hess taking that thing? Alright, prime time. Very, very nice to have. Ever flowing chalice enters the battlefield with a charge counter on it for each time it was kicked. Then you can add mana for for that. So mystical tutor is basically another upheaval or dig through time. But we're already so big and green. I don't know if we are gonna wield this though. Maybe we are. I mean like having an an instant way to get upheaval seems pretty awesome. So 
So let's see if that comes back. Would be nice. And there's Rofellus. <laughs> oh, the ramp's best friend. Run a lot of forests though. Deranged Hermit, I recall as being very good too. In cube. Which makes four one ones. They all become two twos for as long as this guy survives. Day of judgment. No, oh, it's just Rofellus here. And then there's Guy's Cradle. <laughs> oh my. Survival of the fittest. Does it put onto the battlefield though? Nope, it's Guy's Cradle. If we have Guy's Cradle and Awakening Zone, is that good? Tri Builder is good. Throne is good. I guess most decks. Oh my, we're having so much fun here now. <laughs> At least I am. So I hope you are too. Uh, don't think we're running this guy. Brainstorm? Dry Builder? Ramps? Dry Builder or Troll? is pretty good with you know a lot of counters but let's not do that okay natural order we have to play that sack a green creature search for a green creature and put it onto the battlefield shuffle your library yes yes we want that For sure. Oh, and then we get the crater, crater of Behemoth. Oh my. Oh my. Are we playing Crater Hoof? Yeah, we are. Of course we are. And the Mystic came back. Definitely want the Mystic. I mean, the Ooze is good too. Ah, we're just ramping now. Force of Will also came back. So we're some kind of creature upheaval deck. I kind of wish we had a way to put our stuff back. Or like reshuffle our library. I don't think we do. We take the lightning griefs. Not really playing any of the others. Okay. Hermit also came back. And that is what we're taking. Magus of the Will. Never saw that one. Until the end of turn, you may play cards from your graveyard. Wow. It's like you old what's the will. Jesus. Huntmaster? We can splash a Huntmaster. Not great though. Play the survival. Oh, and Throne came back. We're the only green drafter, I think. Got 33 cards here. Can just easily go mono green. But we did start up with, with uh, some blue though. Let's take a look here. What if we are only green? And we cut upheaval and dig chase and Thada. Could still splash the spy master, I guess. Let's start off without it. So we we have enough green here, but is it good enough? Probably is. Have 
to suck a green creature. That's the least of our problems. Mono green super ramp. So what if we are making this a blue green? How do I go about that? Probably got the Tarmogoyf. If you want to upheaval, definitely want these and these. at least make mana that I can use. I probably don't want the workshop. <laughs> we have a lot of ways to fix. Fix the blue though. We have search, we have drive elder. We have some other way. Yell in my elder. Then there's the sapphire. So. So. <laughs> Sorry. Sure here. We got the seasons passed. I think I like this one. I guess I'd cut the Polucranos. So many cards though. Let's see. Let me cut these. This is 24. Yeah, okay. I actually think we could probably get away with 16 lands here. I would like another blue card though. We can just run the islands, I guess. This is so late. So, <laughs> one island is not enough. Probably want three. Or two at least. So what if we have two islands? <laughs> oh, it's just only 14 lands. <laughs> that we will not be enough. even for me. Okay. Go with 16. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 miscount. I guess I counted these as lands. Which I can't really do. I can believe I would cut the survival of the fittest. We have a lot of ways to, to get lands though. Do we want to play the sword though? Ah, maybe we'll cut the sword. From the main deck, we're gonna like this. Sixteen lands. Two moxes. We'll see if it's too much. Fourteen creatures. I like this deck. All right, this will be the deck for this cube draft. It is green. It is 
splashing upheaval. And that is it. So I'll save the deck here. We'll see you guys in round number one.